hi y'all it's your star goddess i'm back and um i just want to do a video about this new look because sorry y'all because uh the season is about to change it's about to be fall um so it's not going to be as humid it's going to be cooler weather so um usually in the fall i try to do my hair straight or wavy because when I do my hair curly I have to wet it a lot I have to uh, you know take a shower wet it um, wash it wash it and go leave it wet at night while I sleep and when it gets colder you know you don't want to you don't want to do that because you know you can get sick easier so I like to straighten my hair in the fall and winter and then spring and summer I go back to curly so um last year i wore it more curly towards the end of fall and winter so i could grow it out and not so put so much heat on it so now i'm just i just straightened it for the first time like a couple days ago since last year so it's grown tremendously i don't know it's grown a lot but um i have this like 50s vintage pinup inspired hairdo and I'm loving it I found a tutorial on YouTube and I, I missed the volume of my curls so I was like well if I'm gonna wear my hair straight I need some volume and I was like well I don't want to tease it all up and put a bunch of you know uh, stuff in it so what can I do to get some volume but still look cute so I found this cute um, vintage style hairdo and I'm loving it. it has a little victory rolls and then you just curl the ends or the the remaining hair and so i'm loving it so i said well i'm gonna do a 50s inspired look a vintage look so i got my little cardigan on i got my rhinestone necklace and my little pearl drop earrings and i got the wing liner going and, and i have on this um skater dress um <laughs> so you can do like a 50s inspired retro look really cheap and i'm going to show you how first of all this this cardigan I've had forever. Everyone has a cardigan. These skater dresses, they're all on sale now. Like on any website, you can probably get them for less than $20. And they're really retro because they have, you know, up top it's kind of tight and then they have the A-line. I'm just, let me see if I can show y'all. Okay. So they kind of look like this. And you can do a little sandal or a heel with them. A kitten heel or a sandal or um I don't know some people like high heels uh, or flats basic flats would do good so I'm gonna show y'all what I used to get this look okay first of all the hair okay so there are tutorials endless tutorials on YouTube on how to do a 50s inspired uh, hairdo um, these are up here these are called like victory rolls so if you just like YouTube that you'll find it's only like it, it's easy it takes like 10 minutes and all you need is bobby pins and hairspray uh, so the hairspray that i used is aussie mega hairspray and it's like the flexible hold i don't remember where i got this i got this like last year probably at target or walmart or something i don't know but i love it because it smells good and it's not super super hard it's the flexible hold so I use it to keep my curls after I uh, use a curling iron and then the flyaways to smooth out right here okay and the makeup is quite easy and most of it is super cheap the only thing that's not super cheap on my face today is my Kat Von D um, lock it tattoo foundation which I love especially for looks like this that need to last um, this is what I use in the fall and winter. Um, the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo. This one is in medium something. 62. So I use that all over. And then I contouring is very important when you do like a retro look. So of course I used my NYX contour palette that I picked up the other day <clears throat> at Ulta. And then for like um, concealing and highlighting, 
I used this e.l.f. foundation palette. It looks like this. You can get this online for like six dollars. So I don't mean to show you. So this is what it looked like. I use these as the highlighters and uh, just concealer. And then I finished it with the high definition powder by e.l.f. And my blush is by L.A. Colors. I got this at Dollar Tree, y'all. This is in the color Berry Plum. So this was a dollar. This was six dollars. This was six dollars. This was eleven ninety nine. And the Kat Von D Locket Tattoo. Um, I think that's like thirty five dollars. That's the most expensive thing. And then my eyeshadow. I used this Elf palette in neutral. And my eyebrows, I also used the shadow in this palette, the black. So here are all the colors. I've had this for a while. And this is only like $7 on the e.l.f. website. And there's lots of neutrals and nudes in there. And for my, I, for my eyeliner, I don't have it with me, do I? Uh, for my eyeliner, I used the Wet n Wild liquid liner, the Mega the mega liner from wet and wild and that's like 3.99 at at the store um for my lashes i don't have on fake lashes these are my real lashes and i have found my favorite 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 mascara thus far which is this revlon lash potion um i grow luscious i don't know what it says but this stuff it makes your lashes look like you have on falsies. Look, see? And that's only like three coats. And it usually with any other mascara, it takes me like five coats or I'll just give up and put on some lashes. But I didn't really feel like doing lashes. My lips are this e.l.f. Elf lip stain in the color Red Carpet. And it's a matte lip stain. And liquid like lipstick and then on the other end if you want to gloss it up there's a gloss and this was only uh three dollars on the website so that's that's how i got this look and i think these earrings came with a set that was like a dollar somewhere you know the cheap jewelry and actually my rhinestone necklace this is the necklace i wore on my wedding day so it's just something i had already and then I have my ring, which is like a really cute flower ring I got like at the beauty supply for a dollar. So it looks kind of retro and cute. And if you're feeling like, you know, extra um, feminine, you can put a flower or like a bow right there in your hair. But that's how I got my look. And I just wanted to share that with y'all because a lot of people have been asking, what's up with your hair what's up you know why are you looking like this I just got bored of the same old look and I wanted to change it up I'm a Pisces we are like we don't stay in one we don't stay looking the same we change it up like uh, <laughs> we like we like to do stuff different and get out of the same old uh, cycle and we change, we change, we change, we change. Like one year you'll see us looking like this, the next year you won't recognize us because Pisces love to, you know, do something different. Um, that's why I used to play around with a lot of wigs. I have wigs in my closet, but I don't really wear them too much because it's hot. <laughs> so I finally just like, you know, I'm gonna do my own hair. So thumbs up if y'all like this video if y'all have any questions if y'all um have like a new look that you plan to do for the fall as well uh if you change your looks during you know during the season changes let me know because i don't i don't think i'm the only one and um thumbs up if you like the retro look uh, i'm not saying this is going to be my go-to style but this is just something that uh i decided to do i don't know if y'all have any any questions for me if y'all want to see a tutorial on something i don't know uh let me know because you know i like to do different video ideas and just try different things sometimes so thanks for watching Bye bye